Catherine Teresa Critelli to come up, and the congregation may be seated. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, according to the church's usual order, and specifically in accordance with the Atlantic District of the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod, Catherine Cordelou is here today to be publicly recognized as a certified Atlantic District lay deacon in this congregation here at St. James. This vocation of word and service has been established in love by the church to support the office of the holy ministry and to serve the people of God in this parish. Catherine has been prepared for this vocation through prayer and through study. She has been examined and declared ready to undertake this public trust. So hear the word of God concerning deacons. In those days, when the number of disciples was increasing, the Grecian Jews among them complained against the Hebraic Jews because their widows were being overlooked in the daily distribution of food. So the twelve gathered all the disciples together and said, It would not be right for us to neglect the ministry of the word of God in order to wait on tables. So brothers, choose seven men from among you who are known to be full of the spirit and wisdom. We will turn this responsibility over to them and will give our attention to prayer and the ministry of the word. This proposal pleased the whole group. They chose Stephen, a man full of faith of the Holy Spirit, also Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenius, and Nicholas from Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented this men, these men to the apostles who prayed and laid their hands on them. So the word of God spread. The number of disciples in Jerusalem increased rapidly, and a large number of priests became obedient to the faith. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So, Catherine, you are about to assume the responsibilities of an Atlantic District lay deacon under the supervision of your pastor and the pastoral care of me as the Atlantic District Bishop. By the word of God and prayer, we commit to you this responsibility of word and service, so that as a servant of Christ, you may serve well his cause among us. Kathy, I therefore ask you, before God and this congregation, are you persuaded that your service as an Atlantic District lay deacon carried out in your parish and throughout the Atlantic District is the will of Christ for you and his people in this place? If so, then answer, yes, I am persuaded. Yes, I am persuaded. Do you believe that the canonical books of the Old and New Testament to be the inspired word of God and the only infallible rule and norm of faith and the Christian life? If so, answer, I do. I do. Do you accept the three ecumenical creeds, the Apostles' Creed, Nicene, and Athanasian creeds, and the confessional books of the Evangelical Lutheran Church as they're contained in the Book of Concord as faithful testimonies to the truth of Holy Scripture? And do you reject all the errors which they condemn? If so, answer, I do. I do. Will you therefore conduct your service in conformity with the Holy Scriptures and these confessions? Will you seek to grow in love for those you serve, strive for excellence in your skills, adorn the gospel of Jesus Christ with a godly life, and accept freely the supervision and encouragement of your pastor, the elected leadership of the congregation, and the president and bishop of the Atlantic District? If so, then answer, yes, with the help of God. Yes, with the help of God. Let me speak to you, members of the congregation. Brothers and sisters in Christ, you've heard the confession and solemn promise of Catherine, who is to be blessed as an Atlantic District lay deacon in this congregation and the Atlantic District. I ask you now, in the presence of God, will you receive her, show her fitting love and honor, and support her by your gifts and fervent prayer? If so, then answer together, we will with the help of God. We will with the help of God. Kathy, are you ready and willing to assume the position and work? I am. Please kneel. Catherine Cortellio, I certify and bless you as an Atlantic District lady serving here at St. James Lutheran Church in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May you stand up. Kathy, we like to present to you a symbol of your position. The deacon's stole. That, uh, you know, I've never actually worn one. How does it go? Also, this 
uh, sign of office. It's a, it's a deacon's cross with the with the uh, you know the characteristic deacon's stole on us. It's stole on an angle there. This is for you. God bless you. And also this uh, certificate of office. Uh, Captain Crow, tell you in thanksgiving to God and the grateful recognition that the requirements for the office of the Atlantic District Lady have been completed and accepted by the Atlantic District. Congratulations. God bless you. Deacons, or and also resident deacons, uh, to come forward, and we're going to lay hands. Uh, I, please, everyone, join in, in prayer silently. But we will uh, pray for Kathy. Why don't you kneel again, Kathy, for prayer? And we will um, right on the step. Yeah, yeah. Come, come. Let's get a hand on Kathy. And, uh, let us pray. Good. Let us pray. Gracious God, by your Holy Spirit, you have given your people diverse and singular gifts. We thank you for providing faithful men and women in your church to assist with the office of the Holy Ministry and to support Christians in their vocations as Atlantic District lay deacons. Grant now your Holy Spirit to Kathy and adorn her with wisdom and power from on high that she may serve faithfully in this ministry of word and service to the honor and glory of your holy name through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. So, Kathy, go in peace and joy. The Almighty and most merciful God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you, bless you, and strengthen you for faithful service to Him. Amen. Amen. <laughs>